Hey, Mark Lambert here in the Sweet Spot of Mine Distributing Test Kitchen. I want to show you guys a quick little tip, save a little bit of money next time you go to the grocery store. If you've ever looked at that huge, unassuming bag of chicken leg quarters, and you're like, eh, that's a lot of chicken. Well, I'm going to show you how to do something with it. Um, have something to roast, have something to barbecue. At the same time, if you're like me, you love a good chicken stock, and you can use it for a lot of different things. There's three good parts on there. You've got the leg, you've got the thigh, but on a leg quarter, the reason they're so inexpensive is you've got that pelvis and that back attached. Well, if you didn't know, that is where the best broth comes from. Real simple deal. We're going to show you how to do it. Check it out. All right, so what we've got here is we've got the huge chicken leg quarter. One of the reasons they're so inexpensive is there's some waste in a leg quarter. You've got the tail, you've got a lot of extra fat that's on the back side, you've got part of the back, but then also you've got a normal thigh and you've got a normal leg, even though it's extra large. Um, I'll show you how to break it down to where you've got the good part for the stock and the rest of the good parts just for roasting and eating. So when you turn this over, you've got a piece of the rib, you've got the back, and the extra piece of uh, fat and skin here. So I'm gonna leave that fat and skin, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is lay my knife flat on the bottom of the thigh, and I'm gonna go forward just until I get to, I'm going up under a piece of a bone. And once I stop, all I gotta do is pop that joint. So push down and pull up so you can expose that thigh joint, and then you come in here with your knife right in that spot, and you're completely separated. And you've got this for stock, this for roasting. So, um, I like to cook my leg quarters whole when I roast them. Um, if you want to cut them in half and use, you like thighs or you like drummies, you like to cook them separate, that's fine. There is a really distinct way you can find this joint to separate them very easily. You can see it on the back side you can, and you can kind of feel it right there. But on this side, the easiest way is to put your thumb and you feel a little soft indention right there. That's that soft little joint and you just put your knife right on it, almost right on it, and cut down. So, let me show you one more time. I didn't find it exactly good that time. Usually I do it just by knowing it's right there. So, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go underneath that rib meat. We're going to push down and expose that joint. We're going to finish cutting down to separate the back. Turn over. All right, we got our soft spot right there. It's just ahead of it, right there. Right through the joint. So there's our thigh, and there's our leg. Take this and put it in a pot, cover it with water. Put a quartered yellow onion or white onion, um, some bits of celery. If you've got uh, whole, whole ribs of celery, use the tops uh, and a little bit of carrot, salt and pepper, onion, a little bit of fresh garlic and cook that down. It takes about two hours at a low, I mean, uh, some of call it a high simmer uh, for about two hours. Then you can pick off what little bit of meat's left on there um, for chicken salad or whatever. But then you strain off that broth and you've got the most awesome rich broth for making stir fries or uh, soups or anything like that. So there's your tip for taking chicken leg quarters, a really, really cheap, inexpensive piece of chicken and turn it into something that you can use every day in your kitchen. God bless you. Peace out.